down here at the lake today. About to be catching ourselves some calico bass or crappies, they call them down south. We're gonna just use a shiner and a bobber on a hook with some weights. And uh, when the bobber goes down, set the hook, reel them in. We're gonna try making some fish tacos. They're one of the best freshwater fishes you can eat. Uh, see what happens. It's Tuesday too. And it's Taco, Taco Tuesday, Tuesday, so you gotta do it up. So we're gonna have a good time. Got some nice shiners. We just went to our local bait shop, Fishing Factory 3, hooked us up with some nice little baits. We got our jigs. As you can see, we've got beautiful lake here. What's gonna happen is there's some structure over here, some rocks underwater, and over here is a tree in the water. Anywhere there's structure this time of year and a little bit of deeper water, like 10 feet of water, that's where the calico bass like to sit. We'll see if we can't get ourselves a crappies and get ourselves a crappy day. Have a good one, Barbecue Pit Boys for life. Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're cooking up some crappie tacos at the pit, and it's real easy to do. Well, let's rephrase that. Ha. We're doing some calico bass tacos. You got to check this out. A wide gap bait hook. I like using red. Just gives it a little bit more flash, a little bit more flair. I like using the wide gap for the calicos. They got a little bit of a bigger mouth. It's a perfect hook for them. So I'm going to put this about right here. Uh, about 18 inches from your hook. Then, let out some line. I need to figure out the depth of where these fish are sitting since we just got here. Put your bobber, I use a weighted bobber. I'm gonna put my bobber about right there. Make sure it goes in the hole, there you go. And locks it in place. So there's your simple, Minnow rig for summertime crappies or calico bass. Now you get a couple shiner. Got your, got your live bait right there. I'm gonna hook this live bait right through the top fin, just below the back, so you're not using the back. So that minnow is like that on the hook. So he's swimming around. He's gonna look beautiful in the water to those crappies. They're gonna be eating good. Now, no doubt about it, this is the best way to be making up your fish tacos, right? <laughs> Don't take long. Literally first cast. All of two seconds. Let's get this guy. Nothing wrong with grabbing a couple bluegill right. for the frying pan bluegill. too, right? Red belly. <laughs> First fish. Yeah. You know. Throw them back for another day. Bass? A little bass. A little largey? A little largey. Now, for those of you who have never had the pleasure of fishing for crappie or calico bass, you're missing something out of your life. Some will say this is the finest eating freshwater fish there is. <laughs> Some of us agree. We're eating good tonight, Martha. <laughs> We're catching some lunkers. <laughs> See, this is what we were after That's this whole what we time. Were after right there. That's a nice block. Crappie. Yeah, yeah, bro. I knew they were in here. <laughs> he said, Give me a taco. One Boom. taco right there. <laughs> it's like average size in this lake, but they're tasty. That's what we're looking for right there. It's a black crappie. Woo, that's a monster. That's not a large off. Ah, it's a large off. This is a crappie. Oh my god, it's a crappie. <laughs> Yo, that's a big mouth crappie right there, bro. Oh yeah. That's the way to finish it right there. Alright, we're done fishing. 
That's how it's done right there. That spot just got fired up because of us right there. But look at that. They don't need a canoe. They just get discouraged. Boop, boop. There you go. Beautiful crappie. I was going to make a fish top though. <laughs> Time to make some crappy tacos. Good. Now what you're going to need, well, is what you do for any taco, right? You got the uh, jalapeno peppers, the onion, maybe some avocado, fresh tomato, cilantro, whatever you like in your taco. All right. And for those of uh, you who have no idea what a taco is, <laughs> are there any? Uh, it's like this, all right? Chop up some tomatoes, dice them up nice. Take a good uh, hot pepper, like a jalapeno, right? You dice that up. A nice fresh onion. That's a Vidalia sweet, you can tell, right? Real sweet as an apple onion. Perfect. Oh, man. I'll tell you what. You can't buy this taco anywhere. It don't get any better than this. Fresh calico bass. Slice up some cilantro for it. How about the juice of a lime? You know all about this, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Eat your uh, heart out, Taco Bell. <laughs> get in touch with us. We'll send you some calico bass. Oh, yeah. Mix it up. And sometimes the best part of fishing is you're hanging out at the pond. This is some good living, right? Yeah. It's good. Jitterbug here. Got ourselves some beautiful calicos we just caught. Literally caught them right there. Now they're on the board. So you want to do a cut right behind each gill plate, like so. Get right down to the backbone, right through, right through. Very simple fish to clean. Best eating fish, in my opinion, in fresh water. Love these things. Absolutely delicious. Now, you won't be seeing Black anybody crappie. at your... Uh Local Bell doing this, right? We call them up here in the north, Calico Bass. This is some good eating. So I'll make a cut right down the backbone, like so. Get right down here to make a half moon because of the way the meat goes. And cut straight across to the bottom fin. See how the blade came out like right next to the bottom fin? Press right against the backbone and pull straight forward. Don't hit your blade on the stone like I did. You can just pull straight down. Get as much of that meat off that bone as possible and cut it straight back. Same thing on this side. Straight down. Right along the back fin. Watch where the blade comes out. Cut straight back. Very simple technique. There's your filleted fish. Now take your fillet, run your finger like this, you'll see where the bones are. Cut a V, one V, just like so. Grab your fillet. And voila, 
There's your bone that just came out with it. And there's your skin. Now there's your boneless fillet. Show you the next one. Same thing. V cut. Get in there. Right along the back skin. Don't pull the skin off. Right like so. Bam. Now for some of you, <laughs> you're saying all that work right here. We're gonna put them in. for a fish taco? Are you kidding me? You'd sooner get in a uh, drive-through right. line just to get some of that white fish or whatever they call it in your taco? Here. No. It's got cumin in it, so this be a perfect mix. Oh, yeah. Load this up pretty good. It's I'm good. Pour on. Why not? All right. We've got a good, even mixture. I want to see some of that seasoning in there. The catch, they're real tasty to eat. And they're really tricky sometimes. They can really play you. It's and you see how you need that wide gap hook, though, because those mellows, they're such a weird fish. Then they fight like a flounder. They get sideways and start acting all weird. All right. There's our fish. Look at these bad boys. This is going to be a quick fry. That thing is right there. Now, as most of you know, these fillets will cook fast. Maybe a minute or two each side, depending on how thin those fillets are, right? Just don't overcook them. I don't know about you, but I think I'm going to pause this video and uh, head to the cupboard to get some peanut butter and then to the refridge to get a cold one. Now, can you smell that? It smells good. Oh, let's put this taco together. How's about some pickled Vidalia onions right there, right? And a light marinade. Perfect. Now let's put this taco together. Get yourself some fresh tortilla shells. It's important to get yourself a good shell. Oh yeah. Put them in your fancy ass uh, taco machine there. Turn your avocado. There you are. Got a pit right there. Just hit it. Turn. Just gonna slice this up and it's in there. All right. And there we go. Are you kidding? Taco. Now, like we said, uh, you set these up the way you like. Some avocado, some calico bass, or crappie. Like I said, these are going to be crappie tacos. Look at that. Lord have mercy. Now use your uh, favorite uh, cheese. It's like Oaxacan. Or a soft cheese, or a Mexican cheese. Again, your choice. 
A little bit of cilantro on the top. And we got these uh, marinated onion for fresh. A little bit of uh, picante or hot sauce, your choice. <laughs> Imagine trying to order this through a uh, drive up fast food line. <laughs> it ain't happening. Take a look at that. Whoa. From the lake to a taco, calico bass makes you feel real macho. <laughs> now, this is the part where the pit masters are gonna eat in front of you and they're not apologizing. You're just gonna have to get yourself a fishing rod, get some bait, get some stuff for some tacos, and get yourself some calico bass. So to get the exact recipe, head on over to our website. Brush peas with a guile. Brush fish. Good day out in the water. Joseph Q and Jitterbug here. Taco Tuesday. Calico bass. Barbecue pit place for life. Another one for the book. Y'all enjoy. Get out there and catch some fish. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com